Hi, welcome back to Pragmatic Agility, the channel where we solve various programming challenges. In today's lesson, we are going to solve the challenge of establishing a Google Sheet that automatically parses a JSON data source and refreshes at a rate of every minute. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we will need is this file from Brad Jasper slash import JSON from GitHub. I'll have a link in the description. Once you're at this site, you'll want to click on the import json.js file. You'll want to click on the raw button. You'll want to do a control A, control C to copy everything. You're going to want to go back to your Google Sheet where you're developing this. And you're going to want to click Tools, Script Editor. Go ahead and delete whatever is in there. Paste in the code you just, you just copied and click Save. Go ahead and name it JSON. You can name it anything you want, but I'm going to name it JSON import.js. Click OK. Go ahead and save that. And we need to use the a specific function that's in here. We're going to use basic authentication, which is this right here. And if you want to find out what these uh, specific options do, you'll want to read the documentation on this. So we need to put equal. We need the URL. Now I'm getting my data from OData from the Acumatica framework. And the best thing about OData is that you can put it in JSON format. So I'm just going to copy this URL. And I'm going to paste it into there. This is the first parameter. Next, I'm going to put in my username. Next, I'm going to put in my password. And for the query options, we need to put in the, uh, the path that we're going to. So I'm going to slash value. And the reason I'm going to this value is because in when I transform this to JSON from OData, I get an array that has the name of value. And ultimately, I need the values that are in that array. So I need to tell the function to go to that specific attribute, which is the array. And for parse options, I'm going to put what was in a demo of it, which is no inherit, no truncate. And let's see. Okay, we already have it. So it loaded for us. But we have a problem, and that problem is that this will not refresh even when we set it up with the trigger. But let's go ahead and get the trigger added, and then we'll fix it so it does refresh. So to add a trigger, we're going to go back to Tools, Script Editor. I'm trying to keep this video short for you guys. And you need to go to, where is it? Edit, Edit. Current Projects Triggers. And we're going to create a new trigger. We're going to call a function, and we're going to Call the one that we're using, import JSON basic auth from spreadsheet on. Oh, we're going to put it on time driven for the type. And we're going to go ahead and put it for minutes timer every minute. Save. You may get prompted for this. Let's go ahead and click on OK. Go through the warnings. It's your own sheet, so you. Hopefully you trust yourself. Allow. And we are done. We have the trigger. That trigger is going to fail when it first runs. Well, actually, no, it won't fail. It just won't. No, it will fail because it's going to call that function with no parameters. So let's go back to our sheet. And we need to... Okay, so we need to go back to our sheet. We're going to go back to the script editor. 
And we're actually going to add a function here at the top. I developed this earlier, and I'm just going to walk you through it real fast. It's very simple. So this function is called import JSON update. It's going to, we don't need this. This was something I was working with earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a new date object. We're going to get a timestamp from that date object. We're going, we're going to assign a C cell value that is equal to the function call plus that timestamp. Now this is important because Google script will go out of its way and if it sees that you've set the cell to the exact same thing, the function does not run and the data does not update. By appending a timestamp as an extra parameter that will just go into the void, um, in some languages you couldn't do that. You would need to define the function to include that parameter and GS you don't need to. So we're just going to append that timestamp to the function call and that will have the added benefit of not only allowing it to update but telling you the time that it updated. And then in the next line of code, we get the spreadsheet app, we get the active sheet, we go to cell one, we set the value to the value we established up here, which is this string. And when that runs, that will update the sheet. And the other thing that I did to make it a little more secure so that people would not see the uh, username and password on the uh, the basic auth is you go into the function itself and you just type in what the username will be yeah username equals all right so now it's no longer on the sheet it'll just be in the uh, all the front end user of the sheet will see is the import JSON update, which will make it a little more secure. You won't have your username and password out there. If you needed to, what you would do is you'd uh, make some generic user that only has access to the data you're trying to see within the application that you're getting data from. So once that's updated to do this, we need to get rid of the function call on our front end data sheet. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this. And our data goes away. That's okay, though. That's what we expected to happen. And we're going to go and change our function call to the import JSON update. Well, first, be sure to save. Okay. Then cancel. Open. Import JSON updates where are you okay refresh this if you don't see your function edit import JSON update there we go save that all right so now we're calling that JSON to update and we should see that data appear pretty soon within one minute because it's going to run this function and set a1 to that value causing to data to uh, present itself an update so I will fast forward the video to when that occurs okay we just had data come in and we can tell that that happened at 10 13 p.m. I'll pause the video and I'll update it again to show that it updated at 10 14 Okay, I'm back, and I even changed the data set so that we could see the change reflect in the update. Changed Bruce Wayne to Peter Parker, and it updated as I expected. It's updating every minute. Uh, we made it a little more secure by not allowing the username and password to appear on the front end. We can see the last time that it updated. And that brings this lesson to a close. I hope you got yours working. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, thanks for your time. Bye.